Hello guys, welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to talk about the topic of Lara being more human now. And every now and then I see people say they like the new Lara Croft better because she is more human. But is she really more human than the classic Lara? When considering the classic Lara Croft, we have to keep in mind that back on PlayStation 1, the stories of games weren't as important as they are now. The graphics also made things a little difficult because it was harder to show the character's emotions. Still, I don't think classic Lara was cold as some people think or say. In the scene with the monk on Tomb Raider 2, she doesn't ask him if he's alright, but she checks his wound on his chest and feels his pulse. In Tomb Raider 3, when she meets a weird guy, she also asks him if he's alright. Are you alright? Well, if you'd all stop. I might be just fine. The first man she meets in Citadel in Tomb Raider 4, The Last Revelation, she sees if he's alright. She also saves another man from a scorpion. However, there is a man who is dying and asks her for help and she doesn't care about him. She just wants what she was looking for and she's Quite rude, actually. Help me, English. I bleed to death. I try to hide, but those things smell the blood on me. I've come for the mind frequency. I need to get back to Aziza through this rabbit warren, with both legs intact. I need those codes. Search his body. I don't know. Leave me now, for I am weak and wish to prepare myself. Oh my god. In Chronicles she tries to save the submarine captain, but on the level of Coliseum she tricks Pierre and lets him fall. Yet! No time! The hull is breached and we will drown soon with the oxygen you... The stone? Now, now, Miss Croft... You gave me your word. Come now, Lara. Lara, you promised. Boom. <gasps> uh, could you find it in your heart to help me up? I appear to be sleeping. Pierre, you know nothing would please me more, but we have an agreement. Agreement? Not to lay a finger on you, remember, silly? Anyway, busy girl, got to go. But I'll... In Angel of the Darkness, it can be said that Lara is insensitive because she doesn't seem to be saddened by her mentor's death. We don't see any reaction from her anywhere in the game in regards to that. We only saw her mad in one scene. On the other hand, she shows concern for Curtis as she gives the Obscura painting to the game's villain to save him and even tries to help him get up. She also smiles at the end of the game when she finds out Curtis is still alive. Lara in Legend started to show more emotions such as fear, despair, sadness. On the plus side, she also cares about her friends at the end of England level, which is a, a good example for that. On the downside, she kills her ex best friend's boyfriend without showing any regret and even shots her in the end so she could get her hands. Hello, Lars. Hey, Lara. What's up? They didn't make off with your credit cards, did they? Is everything all right? Alistair? I'm fine. I'm fine. Just uh, not my usual evening routine. Then let's go home. Anyone between me and that stone dies. Stop. I don't want anything bad to happen, but it will if you come any closer. Kill him. Jane! No! Oh, 
I'm sorry, Amanda. Truly. Early in Tomb Raider Anniversary, Laurie is sad to see that her guide is dead. And another scene that it's the best scene to look at in this game, for what I'm talking about, is the one where Larson dies. There we see Lara being human, showing uncertainty and, uh, and then regret. On the other hand, the way she kills Larson seems insensitive especially given her expression. The scenes with the doppelganger on Tomb Raider Underworld are a good example for people who said that she was invincible and didn't have any difficulties or struggles because we see that doppelganger is always stronger than Lara. She also shows weakness after killing her mother's troll. On the other hand, I found it super insensitive how quickly she recovered from the death of her friend Alistair. Even Zip was mad with her. What are we going to do? After I deal with the authorities, I'm going to southern Mexico to retrieve Thor's belt. What? Alistair's dead and, and it's just business as usual? I need Thor's belt to get his hammer and I need the hammer to kill a god. Since Tomb Raider 2013, a lot of people say that Lara is more human. I believe they say this because she has become more vulnerable, perhaps too much. The summary of this new trilogy is Lara in constant suffering and with daddy issues, mostly in the last two. In addition to the suffering, we see her scared and crying, things we never seen before. That's fine when you don't overdo it, like it was done. If you think she's more human now because she shows more feelings, I agree. However, in however, I don't completely agree with that. For me, to be more human is also to have empathy. I've already shown you scenes that the old Lara showed empathy for those who like to say she's insensitive. I don't find this new Lara more empathetic than the old one. She even does worse things to her enemies than the classic Lara or the legend Lara. So as I've been doing so far, let's see some more examples. Lara tries to save her friends and shows concern for them. She also tries to save a pilot against Roth's wishes. The storm came out of nowhere. It's not your fault, Lara. I called them here, Roth. We'll find another way. Mayday, mayday. The co pilot, Jessica Bear. Another pilot. Number one, seven, seven, eight. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, badly hurt when I landed. I need a pin aid. Is anyone there? Captain Jessup, do you read? I've deployed a smoke signal. Please respond. Damn it, he can't hear me. I have to get to him. No. The signal's just over there. We've got our own people to worry about. We'll need to regroup as soon as they find Sam. I can't just leave him out there alone. I need to get to him. Sometimes you've got to make sacrifices, Lara. You can't save everyone. I know about sacrifices. No, you know about loss. Sacrifice is a choice you make. Loss is a choice made for you. I can't choose to let him die, Roth. Insensitive attitudes on her part in this game. I can't remember any of them, but if there are any... You will remember me in the comments, for sure. In Rise and Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Lara is extremely selfish, doing whatever she wants without caring about the consequences and ignoring the requests of other characters to stop. Oh God, Lara, no. This is madness. Get your life sorted. Go home to the manor. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined. Then I would ask you not to abandon your quest, but to alter its path. Join me and my people. Help us repel Constantine and Trinity. Then after that's done. And you leave our valley untouched. But knowing that you've done the right thing. No. I'm sorry, I can't do that. 
understand. She even manages to piss off Jonas in both games and he's actually a very chilled guy, which is funny. Real. I don't care if it's real. I've lost too many friends. I don't want to lose you too. Dad never made the connection to Katash. He gave up everything for this. Including you. Stop blaming yourself for what happened. He made his own bed. I can't give up on him. Not now. It's all I have. No, it isn't. If you stayed still for five minutes, maybe you'd see that. The good thing about Rise is that Lara helps to save the village. The bad thing is that she drags Jonas into unnecessary adventures that almost killed him. In the shadow of Tomb Raider, Lara begins an apocalypse which causes the death of several people and she does not regret it. It only matters what she wants. This scene irritates me so much, I can't stand Lara in this game. You know, even later in the, the plane, she still shows that she doesn't care about the people she got killed. While Jonas wasn't the one that was that had any fault of that, he was the one who was feeling actually bad. Go figure. Jonah! Jonah! Laura? I was so worried. I failed. Wes. What do you mean? Dominguez. He has the dagger. I lost it. After everything that my father went through, I gave Trinity exactly what they wanted. He'll use the box and the knife to remake the world. To remake it into what? I don't know. He thinks he can rid it of sin and weakness. A man like that, we... We have to stop him. It's all my fault. <laughs> We'll figure it out, okay? I, I promise. No, 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 no! We have to get to the hidden city before Trinity. We have to find the silver box. Okay, but first, we're gonna help these people get to safety, and then we'll go after the box. No, no one is safe! Not if he gets the box first! I have to go! I'm the only one! You're the only one that can what? You don't know that you caused all this, Lara! Not everything is about you! These people need us here. We can do good now! Besides, what do we got to go on? A riddle? We're going to need more than pink fish and silver crowns to get to the hidden city. I'm going to help these people. And then I'll find us a plan. I think we're looking for a volcanic mountain. The crown of silver is probably a band of clouds. I just can't get those people back there out of my head. They lost everything. The riddle says, Chase the heart of the serpent to the Silver Crown Mountain, where the twins confer. I wonder what the twins are. <sighs> the storm looks like bad news. It's just a little rain. What she does good in this game is saving Unoratu and her son. She ends the apocalypse, but it seemed to me that it was just because she wanted to win against Trinity, and not really because of a matter of conscience. I don't think Lara is more human now, I think she remains generally insensitive. Uh, the difference is that she just displays a wider range of emotions. We see emotions now that we didn't see before and 
I guess that's why people think of it. I don't know. I think it's because, oh, she's vulnerable. So she's human. She's more human. But I don't like how some people uh, talk about the old Lara. Like she never struggled and she was invincible. Where I even have a video that is Lara Croft having a bad day. Where, is, where you see situations that she's not invincible and where she struggles. Feel free to watch it if you are interested. And yeah, I would like to know your opinion on the comments. Don't also forget to subscribe if you're new. I'm trying to unlock the community tab, which kind of helps to keep you updated in what I'm working or if I have to stop and stuff like that. And I can also ask you stuff that it's important for me to know what to do for the next videos so yeah i'm talking too much and i'm just saying again don't forget to subscribe to leave a comment with your opinion and a like and until next time bye bye